Well, we're here at one of my favorite spots on the Spruce Mountain Open Space Forest Management Project. And we've done some thinning and we've opened it up a bit. You can start to see the sunlight hit the ground. You can see back to this meadow. What we've done here is really um, try to protect the integrity of the forest resource. And so we're reducing the, basically the number of trees, the, the volume of wood and woody vegetation up here back to a level that the ground can support so that the trees are healthy trees. And healthy trees have cones and cones have seeds and seeds lead to little trees. And they really help the ability of that forest to keep reproducing. We thought it was real important to protect some of these old relic stumps. As you can see, they've got some fire scars and um, you know, there's a lot of science and a lot of history to be learned from these old things. And they really add to the character of this piece of open space. Before we thinned some trees out, we couldn't see any of these really neat rock formations. Now that we have thinned, a lot of these are visible right from the trail. Well, we thought it was important to keep some of these Douglas firs that are growing underneath these ponderosa pines. We really thought that some diversity would be important to the open space. And uh, we've got some real nice natural regeneration. And um, Douglas fir is a shade tolerant species, so it grows nicely in the shade of these ponderosa pines. Forest management is real important. What we've done in the last century is we've removed some of the natural processes from the ecosystem, especially fire. Management is really mimicking the natural process. These overstock stands, we're thinning them out to really protect that forest resource and make sure that it's around. 